G'day and welcome back to our Piast Empire campaign in EU4. <clears throat> so we're going to have about uh, six years of peace, hopefully. Build our forces back up, build up a war chest, and be ready to do a lot of damage to the Poles. And Netherlands have inherited Gelray. Good. And it looks like the Austrians are building up a bit of an army. Um, there's a water shortage here, though, so they should take that and destroy the Austrians ASAP. And Switzerland wants Condottieri for his war against... Just Savoy, really. Um, I mean, we'd like them to expand the empire. Don't like them being reformed, but we're not going to be able to get rid of that for a while anyway. Um, <clears throat> no, we need to build up our armies. As much as we want the money. It's 21 stack, yep. Alright. Exited that off instead of repaying it. Whoops. Repay, repay, 170 ducats. Shouldn't take too long. Good money now that we're getting ridiculous amounts out of Eager. And kind of paying the penalty for it. I'm going to do this and then we'll uh, spend some reducing inflation. And we're going to need money for Bastions in 10 years as well. 1570, we'll try to remember that. Alright, Russians are coming back. What's going on here? Denmark is occupying Poland. They are part of that war. Okay. What the weaker they get, the better for us. Poland is allied with Sweden. That is that problem, isn't it? We can't threaten war on them. Um, Bohemia, actually, we want to try and threaten war. So, would you like to give us Hradeco? Almost. <clears throat> Relative worth of province. It's a 9, that's a 12, yeah, so Hrodeko is the only possibility. Strength of alliances, if we get that higher. It's not a Salesian core, we can't change that. Base value, we can't change. Relative worth, we can't change. <clears throat> I don't think Diplo Rep ever comes into it. Um, Austria, I doubt, would give us Tyrol. Nope. Got no reasons to there either. Guess he has. He has Brandenburg on his side. Friesland are rather large this time as well. All right. Anything else to gain from here before this guy dies? Hager and Wittenberg, maybe. No, we we'll just go for the ones over point two. Otherwise, repay loans. All right. That'll help us a little. Advisors are cheap because of this guy. Well connected. Alright. Tech. Straight away. Production efficiency increases. Give us a little more. Switzerland isn't going to get his condottieri. And how are we looking here? Still 3,000 short. It's another 10 months. And yes, they are breaking through rather nicely. Austrian separatists in France. But they're not. That's a little weird. They're Brabantian. Oh, wow. There's the Brabantians. Um, they're Austrian. Thing. Right. Bubble printed. Gain support for printing press in Unholt. That is awesome. Get our prestige up as well. Should actually almost swing us the extra votes. Not that it matters. Um, we are 69, so as long as we don't lose... Well, Lubeck, basically. Three to three, we're incumbent. Yes. I should probably think about other things that could make us money. Um, marketplaces. Prague. How are we doing over there? 26%. Um, sure. About the only one that would be worth it. Ottomans. He Kator, Niblu, Nadine, Nish, Iskadora, and Baranachevo to Hungary. Pays ducats. And Hungary suffers a bit of aggressive expansion. It's okay. So what do they actually just take? That bit around there. It's only three that they had cores on. So where do you get Nice from? Weird. <clears throat> but good for Hungary. Good for Europe. I guess. 
All right, force limits, no. Manpower, maybe. Manufactories, while they're cheap, might be worth it. Um, these ones would make the most money. I mean, it's really expensive. Turing and Breslau and Magdeburg. Don't get as much there, don't get as much there. So those are the only ones we'd even consider. And I don't think it's going to be worth it. Hello, Sweden. Thanks for coming down to kick their butts. Go and get the French out of there at some point. Alright, is Denmark even being occupied yet? Yeah, up around the long fella. The Norwegian separatists again. Alright, Switzerland gives Savoy money. France gets free troops from Castile. That's not good. Not good for Sweden, but, you know. Great Britain would be a potential ally if we did get rid of France. The Mulberry. I uh, really want to try and get Russia, though, if we lose France. So I guess, might as well spend a guy down there. Venice. Want to finish off Savoy. And, yeah, we'll improve with Britain as well, just in case. They're dealing with the Reformed. Old Scotland up there. Monthly autonomy change. I don't think it's really worth spending the money on. What is our worst autonomy? 70% uh, in unhold. Yeah, maybe. Alright, Secrets in the Alliance. It is the Planet. Salzburg have the printing press. They would hate us. No, they actually like us. Denmark, except a peace with Poland. Okay. Um. Well, Salzburg have the printing press. Then Munich should get it quickly. And from there it'll start spreading. Mites. Well, that's actually going to get it first. Okay. Uh, done trying to improve with Russia. And it was nowhere near enough. I'll cite traditions. No, keep losing the admin on that one. We've got a new cardinal. Thought we had more than that. Warsaw. And Ager are potential cardinalities. Alright, um, we do actually want at least one of these. Because I'll forget to build them later on for that uh, manufacturer's institution. Which is two away. Global trade, we're not going to get. Who will get that at the moment? Uh, 21, 19, 24. It'll be England. Actually, it'll be the Netherlands at the moment. Although, Lubeck's actually higher value. So it would be Lubeck. Awesome. Oh, Mecklenburg got spat out. And they're Catholic. Okay. Uh, next up. Eight years out of time. So, yeah. Grab the discipline with the morale speed. And what did that unlock? Diplo rep and spy network construction. Well, I'm not going to be spending a point on it. We're going to need to save up as many military points as we can so we can strengthen the government when our heir comes into power because of his weak claim. Hmm. Alright, Ulm have the printing press. Damn it. What was that? What did we just lose? Oh, it was that one. Alright, he has resigned. In Mainz. Hey. Gain zero imperial authority. Ah, uh, that's clever. Right. Hopefully you can actually convert it. Good government policies. 50 admin. We don't want the ducats. Um, we want military, so I guess we go for 75 points. Invest the money in our government. And Mainz has joined Lübeck. Now, Mainz is an elector. He's voting against us. Yeah, it's fine. 
All right, done with Great Britain. So we could get Britain as an ally if we got rid of France, which we shan't. Now, how is this independence war actually going? They're winning it, and they're only winning it slowly, which is good. All right, uh, England's losing to France, which is also good. I wonder what France is going to do to them. I assume they're going to try and take some land there. Although it's not even their war, so they can't, really. Um, Sweden would have to gift it to them. Damn it. They didn't. Gives the Western Isles to Scotland. Pays ducats to Denmark. Alright. That's going to make it harder for Sweden. Although, puts them up to 27 now. We fight the Piast. It fights back. Everyone's opinion goes down, which sometimes is a problem here, but we look safe. Brandenburg's so high. Came to the defense of the empire is still in there. All right, urbanization. We've got the money, and we can just barely afford for them to gain the influence. Cool. All right, now I do want to uh, pay the army for a bit. Just to make sure that we're ready to go when we need to. And we mourn our statesman. So this guy is expensive. But so we're gonna be forced to take level twos. Um yeah, we'll go with the diplo rep for now. And we're ready to die. We can get the um Tomash. He was our good one. Alright, uh, yeah, we can get the stability back when we die now. And Denmark's no longer a great power. Austria has come up, because he's just embraced. Okay. Hungary's catching up to us as well. Russia's not actually that far up there. Alright. You tech. Seven years ahead of time. For an extra promoted culture. Some galleus that we can't build. And for a trade station. Um, we'll wait for that to cap out. And the burgers did creep up just. I mean, we could boost the nobility's production. Get a third development province out of it. Empire is now one province stronger. Gennigsburg. Thanks, buddy. Pomerania? Pomerania isn't... wasn't in the Empire. So he's just... allowed to make himself join, because we like him enough. That's fine. Gives us an extra prince in the Empire. Which is now in 26, so yeah, we're just over the 25. And there's internal peace at the moment. This is almost high enough to uh, think about passing the reform when we die. Alright, Sweden accepted peace with Denmark. Grants independence. Okay. Okay, and did he have an heir in the end? Yeah, Johan Hat. Ottomans declared conquest in Lithuania. That's interesting, because Russia is guaranteeing Lithuania. They were. Yeah. Alright, it's going to take a second for him to be called in. They shouldn't have an option. Trondelag defected to Norway. Here we go. Denmark's going to start falling apart. No, Sweden went and dealt with it all. Damn. Okay. There's the Russians heading back. Polish magnate rebels. Uh, they're the ones that force the elective monarchy back in. That could be interesting. Alright. Now, looming disaster is... 1571. Um, it's actually rather bad. Hmm. Alright, we'll have to take a province off them. Breslau, Prague, or Magdeburg. Um, maybe Breslau. 
Prague makes a little more money. It's 26 development, that's 19. Um, sure. Decrease their loyalty to 35.4. Influence goes down to 74. Percentage land to 9.3. Fine. Alright, that comes down a little further. It's all good. Alright, Netherlands. Inherited Friesland. Also good. Um, these guys are Brabantian Separatists and Flemish Separatists. And was this Brabantian Separatist? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, pretty rough. Alright, now Poland isn't for another year or so. Hello to the Pomeranian Riga. That's even better. Lost it with Sweden. Hungary won't defend. Guaranteed by Hungary. Um, that debt might be paid off before then. Alright, who can we call in? Cologne. Okay, well, let's go with our benevolence for improved relations, because we need to get rid of our aggressive expansion as quickly as we can. Build province improvements. Um, still not really a good idea. Might actually need to save up for bastions and things like that. Alright, Brabant is now free from Austria. Hopefully they'll get inherited. It's a huge Brabantian army. First and second liberation armies there. Russia declared war on Ryzan. Alright, so I don't know how he got out of this. Independence guaranteed, but they were attacked and he's not defending. Okay, now uh, the army is absolutely fine. When exactly do we get to declare this war? In August. That's one year, so yeah, we'll just leave the um, army as they are. And 7.8, so we'll only make about two ducats. Not really worth beefing these guys up, but I do like even numbers. Alright, Flanders are free. Also good. And a good harvest. Um, yeah, admin. And Flemish separatists in France won't really help us. Although they could add it to the Empire. Uh, Calais, probably not the staple port. Nope. Savoy seeds Volkstetter to Venice. Okay. Venice is looking rather blobby down that end. There's a lot of French. Um, Austria has started influencing Lorraine. Do need to get... Oh, we got the extra vote from Salzburg. Alright, 4-2 to two to 1. Absolutely fine there. And are those Separatists going to beat the French? Not leaderlessly, they're not. Although, they just took a morale hit. Nice. Our allies, the Separatists, won. Not our ally, our actual ally. Well, I do like how we've got this stretching right the way across. Alright, um, probably move over, get ready for the war. And that sound was... Maybe yeah, Rise Arms Annexed. Um, was whichever one of these we were doing. Bamberg, I think. We're converting to Silesian. Doing the same with Unsbach. Uh, couldn't do Metz yet. It's just looking for places to spend diplomatic power. Also, make us a little more money. Alright, now. What's that? Another 16. Not really enough for another entire army. Um, I'm going to go in August, so let's get the forts built up. Kind of need another guy. But that would put us on 80.3. So, no, nah, we're just going to go the old-fashioned way. Recruit a general. 2-2. Uh, two, two. Yeah. Not exactly as good as our other guys. Um, that guy's going to go to Krakow. And this guy's going to go to do the rest of them. 
So that it will be a level three. Yep. And what does he own up here? Plock and that's it, just plock. Oh, I guess we do the south end first. Plock's not gonna cover a whole lot afterwards. Um Hmm. Don't know where we would even want to build on. Probably that's Fletchica. Alright, true suit. Lithuania and Poland and Riga is done. If we declare right now, Riga won't come in. Pomerania just barely will. We can call in Brandenburg against Pomerania. I think we can kind of do them ourselves. Um, we could vassalize them, get the cores and stuff, but I don't know. I like the idea of vassalizing them and just feeding them chunks of Poland up here in the next war. So, yeah, maybe we'll do that. Um, they are only allied with Poland as well. Cool. Well, I doubt we've got anything else to do, so we're just going to declare it now. Kublai's rise of Pomerania. Now, Riga's problem is war exhaustion, interestingly. Um, we won't call them... Well, we'll call... Flatten it in, but we won't call Brandenburg in because he might be annoying up there. So, conquest of Krakow. Confirm. He goes down there. These guys get started in Novosax until we see where the armies are. He has a bit of one. Cool. But I'm going to take a short break here. So, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. And I hope to see you again soon. See you later.